start us off. What do you got for us? How are you feeling? <laughs> he always loves to say that. Because it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> What's up guys, how you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. In today's video, the Freedom Experience just went down in Los Angeles, California. You had the likes of Justin Bieber sharing the stage with our beloved Carrie Job and Cody Carnes. <laughs> our beloved. What? What? I really like them. That's just weird. Okay, I like them. Also, you got Jaden Smith, Judah Smith. Chance the Rapper. I mean, guys. Pink sweats. Pink sweats, of course. Chandler I, Moore. Of course, you're gonna have pink sweats up there, and Ch <laughs> Chandler, guys. <laughs> of Tori course. Tori Kelly. Tori, there you go. Super interesting to see a Christian worship artist like Carrie Job sharing the same stage, the same Freedom Experience event, sharing it with Jaden Smith, who I'm just gonna be real. From what I've seen of him, even more recently, yeah, he's out there. Yeah. Also. Chance the Rapper, you know, he's insinuated some faith stuff, but even Justin Bieber, like it's very interesting and we're gonna talk about it and get to the bottom of this, how we feel about it. Morgan and I, in our typical Paul and Morgan fashion, we are kind of lighthearted, we like to laugh, but there's some real stuff that we're gonna, I think, get to in this video. We're gonna play a few clips, we're gonna just discuss in real time. I'm not totally sure where we're gonna land, if we're gonna yeah. totally see it the same way. How are you feeling? He always loves to say that. Because it's true. <laughs> it's true. I'm feeling good, let's get into it. But first, hit that subscribe button. You know what to do. We make videos on culture and social issues from a Christian perspective to help you have hope. And be free. Dumb. Dumb. Freedom. Oh, freedom, nice. <laughs> and guys, real quick, Morgan and I are brainstorming on how to continue to grow our Patreon to reach our goal of 300 patrons. Patreon.com slash Paul and Morgan show. We would love to have you. Patron only podcasts, patron only Zoom calls because we really love our patrons and we love what they bring to helping us continue to do this. The Paul and Morgan show and pumping out the videos. Thanks guys, thank you to the patrons. All right, Morgan, start us off. How are you feeling? You can tell that I am high energy right now. Yes, you are. So you talk. It's okay. When we first saw the poster for this event. Month month ago or so? Month and a half ago? Yeah. Um, we were just kind of like, huh? We saw it through Carrie Job. She posted it. Okay. That's who I saw it through anyways. So it was like, huh? Okay. This is interesting. What is this freedom experience? Okay. It's like the whole weekend, everyone in LA, people are volunteering. There's like 20,000 volunteers going around LA, cleaning up, taking care of things, serving, which is really cool. So this is kind of the entirety of this freedom experience, one day LA. Yeah, and I was listening to Jason Kennedy, who was the host, describe it. Like you're saying, you come together, you serve LA in some capacity for at least three hours, and then you get the ticket to the prize, so to speak, mm -hmm. yeah, which is this. We're gonna celebrate and party it up at the Freedom Experience concert. Concert event. Justin Bieber heading it up. Because Justin Bieber's newest album is called Freedom. That also kind of correlates. Okay. Um, so yeah, Justin Bieber was the head, obviously, of this whole concert, but then like he had, he brought other people in. And, and when I first saw the poster, I'm like, oh man, there could be something here. I'm hopeful. But again, when we've shared this in other videos, the mixing of the Christian faith and secular, the secular world, secular Hollywood, is it okay to mix them? Mm -hmm. What's it gonna look like? And I posted it to my Instagram. Follow us on Instagram if you don't, guys. We post a lot on there. I think I maybe did a poll or something. I am just honestly really confused. I don't know totally what to think or how to feel about this because okay. Judah Smith got up there, preached for 15 minutes the gospel. He did, he preached the gospel. Some people might say, oh, it was a watered down version. It was the gospel, okay? He shared Jesus Christ and, shared, and the life of Jesus and what Jesus came to do. He shared it. I, I will say um, in that regard, since you went and jumped into his mini sermon. Yeah, I agree with you. Overall, Judas missed 15 minutes. He did a pretty good job. I was more I was more on the impressed side. Were there a couple things? Was it a little soft? Did it not stress repentance? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. 
but I don't think we need to critique it too hard. He presented Jesus as being the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. So, And we'll play that in a minute, but one thing that, Paul, you said to me earlier was like, you know, Conor McGregor was there with his family, I think. It's like, how often is Conor McGregor hearing the gospel? Yeah. How often is he walking into a church building and hearing a sermon preached? Like, I don't know. I'm assuming probably not that often. I don't know if he claims to be a believer. I don't know if he is questioning things. But the fact that he was there and he got to hear the gospel shared is pretty cool. So that's a, a, definitely a positive. Yeah, there are other people there that maybe will never hear the gospel. Like this was the first time or they would never step into a church building. But then they hear the gospel and now their hearts are softened. I don't know. I'm just saying we can't totally wipe that out. And Carrie Job's performance, I think it was to wrap up the concert. Carrie Job, her husband Cody Carnes, Justin Bieber was on the stage singing the blessing. That's a really pretty song. And it did it. It felt moving. One thing um, Justin says, because he talks for a little bit, he says, guys, what you're feeling right now in this room, it may be new to some of you, but I believe he said it's the presence of God. Yeah. And I'll just go ahead and play that clip here in just a second. I don't want to just be like a dampener. Mm -hmm. It could have been. God absolutely could move in even a setting that's a little bit secular. And we're going to get into how secular it actually was here in a minute. God could still move. But I do kind of wonder in this setting where you got your favorite musicians up there, Justin Bieber singing Never Say Never. <laughs> And so the emotions are high, it's the concert feel, and then it switches to worship like you're, I'm not just going to jump on the bandwagon and say it was what you're feeling is the presence of God. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't there, but let's go ahead and play the clip of Justin. And some of you, I don't know, um, might not be used to this kind of atmosphere, but what you're feeling right now is the presence of God. And he doesn't, he doesn't need perfect people, he just wants to use average, ordinary, broken people like us. You know, Christians are going to have to use their discernment. Is it the presence of God that they're feeling? Could have been. Now, I just, I think we may have already mentioned this, but the confusion aspect. I just said, yeah, I'm super confused. <laughs> I noticed that um, YouTubers that we, we watch sometimes, and they're fun, um, Christians. The LeBrant fam, Cole and Sav, little Everly, they got another daughter, can't remember her name. And a son. And a son now. <laughs> I thought you were saying the daughter's name was and a son. <laughs> Posey. Posey, that's it. I, I saw them at the at this experience. Cole posted. Um, it was like Ever Everly, I think, loves Justin Bieber. Cole was saying just how he also felt, I believe, the presence of God. Here's now let's just go ahead and, and turn it a little bit with the confusion aspect. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think. I noticed a clip before I even decided we were going to make a video on this topic of Chance the Rapper performing in the event. He was singing the song that I believe he was featured in with DJ Khaled, mm -hmm. with Justin Bieber, called uh, I'm the One. Yeah. I noticed just a, a brief clip of him performing it at this event. The music video, the original music video for the song was on behind him. The women in it are very provocative. Yeah, it's a very sensual music video. And the song, I, I was just reading some of the lyrics to Morgan, is a very sensually explicit song. There's, there's curse words in there. It's very sensually not good. sexually explicit <laughs> if you want to call it that and so you got i'm, I'm just thinking of the lebrant's cola brant's seven-year-old daughter there having to watch this music video this sensually explicit music video listen to chance the rapper singing it and i believe i heard him not saying the cuss words good for him and then later on you get to the carrie job and the the yeah. message by pastor judah smith that's confusing. It's like, was Pastor Judah Smith in the side of the stage dancing to that and like having a blast dancing and I'm the one and then he goes out and preaches the gospel? It's confusing to me if he was because I'm just like, one, how could you not be? You're there, you're partying it up, you're having a good time with your close loved ones and then you go out and you preach the gospel and it's like, was Jesus doing that? before he went out and, and gave his words, hmm. before he spoke Sermon on the Mount, like was he in the back dancing to 
some secular music back then, like Whoa. grinding it out. Like, no. And we don't. No, we, the answer is absolutely we, not. We don't know that Judah was back there getting into that particular song. <laughs> no, I don't. Fair enough. So let's let's look at that real quick. What do we know from Scripture in regards to Jesus's ministry? We did see Jesus going, and the Pharisees even got mad at him for this, but eating with the tax collectors and sinners, mm -hmm. sitting around a table eating with them. So. Do you think that when Jesus went in and sat down with them, that it was like this rowdy, cr I don't know, to me, when I imagine that, it's like Jesus coming into this house and having dinner with them, and it's like, they're all sitting there talking to Jesus. They're all sitting there, like, so you're saying hearing you, Jesus speak. You expect that that was a very different atmosphere, rather yeah. than Jesus maybe going into... I don't know if they had clubs back. <laughs> I do see what you're saying. Jesus was bringing something new, something holy, mm -hmm. rather than perhaps going and just getting really involved in kind of a, yeah. eh. So this is an interesting <laughs> one. Guys, comment what you're at with this particular aspect. I, I don't think we can say- Obviously, I, this is totally our, our right. conversation. There, I'm sure there are Christians that would say, well, actually, blah, 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 have a different opinion. Here's one other thing in regards to the confusion aspect that I did want to bring up. I don't know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, Justin Bieber released a song with Chance the Rapper called Holy. Mm -hmm. And I remember when it released, I was like, dude, come on. Like this could be a really cool opportunity for them to make an awesome song, like a worship song or a Christian song. Turned out that they were talking about <laughs> A woman. A woman. And so they, they performed that song at this Freedom Experience, and I just clicked on, because I was watching some of the performances. Morgan and I watched a decent amount of performances and the sermon. I noticed that the video I clicked on of them performing this song, the top comment was, Glory to Jesus! Exclamation <laughs> mark. In regards to this song, Holy, about a woman. So again, part of me is like... Confusion! Confusion, P is that person that commented that, the top comment, and there wasn't that many comments, but the top comment, glory to Jesus, a song called Holy, about a woman, confusion, but at the same time, maybe he's like, doesn't even know it's about a woman, and he's thinking, I see Justin Bieber up singing Holy, praise Jesus. <sighs> maybe that could be a good thing, like, let's just give glory to God, maybe it's part see, of the confusion. This is the issue, there's too much confusion, and Jesus is not confusing, God is not confusing. God is not the author of confusion, the Bible says. And I know people are going to be like, but the gospel was shared, Connor McGregor, God damn it. I get it, and I see that that is good. So you'd admit there, there could be good fruit coming yes, out of this. Yes, there could be good fruit coming out of this, and so... Some of you might be mad that I'm like, I still don't think it was very good because I think that there's too much confusion. We have one foot in the world and one foot in the church. You cannot have that. You cannot live for the world, guys. You can't, and I'm so sick of this. That is an issue <laughs> that we're seeing is these blurred lines that let's just make Christianity and following Jesus so cool, so, so easy, cool. so palatable, so trendy. Leave out the hard stuff. Leave out the harder words uh, in scripture. Leave out, leave out the fact that you have to repent and turn from your life of sin and go to the Father, totally wiping your that life away, letting what Jesus did on the cross actually count. Because if you don't repent, if you don't ask for forgiveness, although God has given forgiveness, if you don't ask for it, if you don't repent and turn from that sinful lifestyle, like... It doesn't matter then. Nothing matters. Like, you can't have it both ways. I'm sorry, but you can't. Well, uh, there are scripture verses saying, like, literally, if you believe, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But then there are also very clear indicators. I, I believe it's Acts chapter 20 where Paul's saying, I preached repentance, like that they would repent and turn to Jesus it says in the Gospels Jesus is Jesus started his ministry by preaching repentance so repentance is a big deal and when it's left out again when you got the Hollywood the Justin Bieber the Chance the Rapper that are living from what we can see their bar is set very low so they're living this confusing kind of life and then they're up there Justin Bieber saying you know this is the presence of god and you got judah smith talking about justin bieber saying god has transformed his life you know we, we maybe but it's kind of confusing 
when you yeah. look at what he's taking part in and then being featured in this sensually explicit song with women wearing provocative outfits and Justin singing about smoking weed, right, releasing that song right after a releasing kind of a worship album, it is confusing. And I just, I feel bad for the people who are having to try and figure it out now after leaving that or feeling like, yeah, I do love Jesus. But like, does that mean I have to give up living with my boyfriend? Does that mean I have to give up my weed? Does that mean I have to give up getting drunk in the club? Well, they never said like any of that. They just said, love Jesus, like just accept Jesus. Okay, I accept Jesus and I'm gonna keep living the way that I'm living. So that is a concern. Could it be that this is another seed planted and that they would go home and get in the Bible and see what the Bible says and grow in godliness and you know, full surrender? Mm-hmm. Could be. Could be, but that was never preached at... Where was... Guys, Jesus is amazing. If you want to know more about him, get into the word of God. That wasn't there. How are people supposed to know what to do after this? It was just kind of like a really confusing, murky thing. And to me, if I were even someone like wondering about God and I went to that concert, I'd be like, oh, okay cool so from what i got from that mm -hmm. is like i can keep living my life but just say that i believe in god that's my concern as well there's more to the fullness of the gospel let's go ahead and play oh wait i had one more clip of uh justin bieber what he said right after the first clip we played of him i'm tired of religion i'm tired of division you know i just want to know what it looks like to love people you know know that Jesus who goes to where the broken people one good thing is we saw the name of Jesus preached it wasn't a you know the Sean Mendez interview Jesus or a higher power right. or whatever it was like Jesus True. and then Judah Smith saying Jesus was the way the truth and the life is the way the truth and the life that is special. Again, Justin Bieber there kind of giving a discourse saying, I'm tired of division. We know the Bible says, Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. There is going to be division. What companionship does light have with darkness? They, they don't mix. So there is going to be division. Mm -hmm. And we kind of saw that with the Haley Bieber on her YouTube channel, that video where she's saying, my Jesus is about love and acceptance. I wish there was maybe some clarity. It's cool to see someone with the platform that Justin has talking about Jesus. Would you agree with that? That's kind of special. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. I used to think, yes, absolutely. Amazing. So cool. But now I'm just confused and I'm tired of being confused and I'm tired of feeling concerned for the other people who I know are confused. It's just like, is this causing, is this actually causing more damage than good? I don't know. It feels okay. like it is. It feels like it could be. I don't know. <laughs> well, here is a question I had for those of you watching that are like, Morgan, Paul, Justin Bieber is talking about Jesus. Okay? Leave it alone. Like, he's doing that. That is a special thing. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I respect that because I'm still trying to sort through it. Um, a question I wrote down that I did have for you guys. Where is your line? Would you get it? Like, is there anyone that could get up on the stage and talk about Jesus and how Jesus is so special to them? Is there anyone that could get up on that stage at that event and you would say, eh, I'm actually not in support of this? Because we know there are a lot of celebrities in Hollywood that would say, yes, I love God. I would say, but they are not walking with God. They, according to yeah. scripture, they are not a Christian. Again, that offends some of you. I'm sorry, but would you, was there anyone? I mean, what if Miley Cyrus were to hop up there on stage? Miley Cyrus was invited and she says, guys, Jesus is awesome. I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the fruit of her life and it's madness. Right. <laughs> I know that Lizzo, the rapper singer, she on a Instagram live was talking about how God was so important to her. And she, to me, is living a, just, you know, a life outside of a godly Christian lifestyle. So is there anyone that you would say, I don't, I don't like them being up on stage giving a Jesus message? They should not be giving a Jesus message Because right of the confusion. Now that that would evoke. 
Yeah. I think that's a good question. And I think, like, not everyone is supposed to preach. Not everyone is supposed to teach. That's biblical. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> like, yes, we are all supposed to be a light. Mm -hmm. And we are all supposed to represent Christ as a believer. If you are a believer, you are supposed to represent Christ in your life and how you live it out. The fruits of your life should show that you are a follower of Christ. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you should get on a stage and use a mic and speak <laughs> about God. It, it, I don't know. Interesting. Because when we are called to give an account, be prepared to give an account. Yeah. I don't know. As I say that, though, I am feeling like, once again, very confused. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, Justin does have this giant platform this stage and if he really is being radically changed by jesus then of course like he's gonna want to talk about that sure can he not talk about it even though he's got some stuff to figure out man i have no idea i'd be curious those of you who maybe went to this those of you who just were so excited about it are so excited is it not at all confusing to you <laughs> what were the vibes what were the vibes and i will say I, I would hope that justin his faith walk there is something more there than perhaps just someone that's clear they're walking in a very worldly life that's opposite of the gospel in many ways mm -hmm. and yet they still would claim to be a christian and whatever like i hope there's more fruit with Justin's life. Let's play a little bit of the Judah Smith sermon. People begin to gather around this man by the thousands. He did not claim to be a mere prophet. He did not claim to be a mere preacher or speaker or even one who points the way. He claimed to be the way. He actually claimed to be skin and bone God. So there's just an example. It's not great quality. It's just someone filming out in the audience. Like Morgan said, he's preaching Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least it is a pretty good 15 minute gospel message. I don't want to get into the critique mode. Pretty good. Here's one more element to his sermon that I found interesting. This miracle you see sitting in front of you, this was not the doing of any person. Come on. Or mere therapy and therapy is important. But I am telling you, this man, Life has been saved and yes. transformed, not by religion, Come doctrine, on. doctrine, church services, conferences, or retreats. It has been the person of Jesus. You had mentioned that you didn't love that he, like, talked about Justin during this time. I get why he's doing it. Like, he's kind of just showing a clear example to people of, like, hey, this is what happens when you meet Jesus. That gets into, like, how authentic is this person's faith? We don't know Justin. We don't know his heart we're confident that it's very difficult to be a believer in that hollywood realm very difficult but to me it slightly adds to the confusion of it all when you're saying this person's life justin bieber's life has been transformed because then you're kind of putting the spotlight back on him the thousands of people in that crowd are seeing a pastor judah smith pointing and saying this man's life has been transformed so hey 13-year-old Jenny, yes, Justin Bieber. I love him and his walk with the Lord. And then you see him, see him singing about weed, you see him being in these music videos. So much grace, 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 grace. Justin's doing it. Obviously, no one, we're not supposed to look to man. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have our eyes on Jesus as the example, but a lot yeah. of young people, you know, they're naive. Are looking for a, a, a human example. Well, Jesus was human, but are looking for that example. And I get it. We have role models. We have people that we look up to. But to me, if I were Justin right then, I would have been like, "Shut up, Judah. That's way too much pressure. Like, do not, do not. Like, I already have these eyes on me. I don't need them on me even more." He is now and has been, in my opinion, but really now set as the standard of what it looks like to walk with Jesus for those thousands of people that were there. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of pressure. And I'm sure Judah did not mean it like that, but to me, that's how it came across. And so I'm sure I'm not the only one of that's how it came across of like, look at Justin, look at his life. I think of maybe like other past church services that I've gone to and they have like shown somebody like, man, look what the Lord has done in this person's life. Wow, how the Lord flipped this person's life. And I typically see them being like, like this person now is walking in a very like admirable way that Christians, young Christians could look to and be like, wow. Like they're not messing around. He's being, <laughs> like, he's not perfect, 
but he's an example of someone going after righteousness. I just don't know if, if Justin needs to be that example right now. I hope that he continues to grow and get refined. But again, I ask for those of you saying, no, I love this. I love that aspect of it. And Justin being used as an example, because he's just like us. He's just blah, blah, blah. It's like, is there anyone that if Judah Smith was saying, God has transformed this person's life, and it was Miley Cyrus sitting there, it was Lizzo sitting there, it was you name it, just like, eh, maybe that's not a good example. All right, guys, let us know where you're at. There's where we kind of ended up landing on as of right now. I want to hear where you're at. Do you feel like, man, I am on the same page as you guys? Actually, I am even more so. I do not like what I saw there, and I'm concerned here's why biblically here's why or are you like oh paul and morgan i think you guys were too hard on it and i am just so in favor of this type of event trust me there are people out there that are way harder on it than we are you think we're hard on it go search for some other videos <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I, I mean i'm genuinely curious where you guys land and why comment below i would like to talk to carrie job just about her thoughts because i really appreciate Carrie Job. I would like to talk about her thoughts on the event. I bet she would have some interesting stuff to say. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated us talking about the freedom experience. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. We hope that you're getting good stuff out of these videos. We'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. All right, Morgan. Start us off. What do you got for us? <laughs> Are you moving I'm like getting head? loose. I'm getting loose. It's strange. It's, Sorry. It's uncomfy. Cut. <laughs>